Hello guys, my name is Pimrose. If it's your first time, you are welcome. And if you're returning, Sabi, thank you so much for the continued support. Guys, this tea that I'm about to uh, serve for you, I want to share it like uh, two days ago. So right now, I was about to delete this video so that ah, I was like, no, it's, it's done. Let me just let it go. And right now, just... <laughs> Like, yeah, guys, I was still working on another phone, on another phone video. And I thought, uh, when I come to this phone, that's this other phone, I'm going to delete that one. Yeah, I'm letting it go. But now, this lady just gave me some more tea so that I can continue feeding you with this tea, guys. Guys, let's sit down. Let's pull our chairs. Let's sit down and just enjoy this one. Like, guys, if you remember this lady, if you watch uh, The Real Housewives of Deben, you remember this lady called Mbali. Uh, her full name is Mbali Sizwe Ngaba. So there is a fashion house that actually, a Deben fas fashion house, that called uh, Mar Mar Merizo Designs, which I choose The Real Housewives of Deben star, Mbali, of owing them like uh, 6,800 trends for the clothes she wore in the show. So it say that Mbali also borrowed some clothes from Marizo Designs. So Mbali said that she never wore the clothes on the show, but there is photographic evidence of her wearing the said clothes. So right now, guys, I wanted to just I wanted to just share that one at first, and then I felt like ah, two days is gone. Let me let it go. Now Mbali just created more drama for herself, guys. She just created serious drama, and right now I want to start believing that maybe Nongu was telling the truth. Because, guys, you remember they were there on the show that uh, Nongu once said that this lady has got uh, the Mabusi vibes. <laughs> like, if you watch the show, guys, you will definitely understand what I mean by Mabusi vibes. There used to be another lady on their previous show who was called Mabusi. And, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know why Nongu said that this lady has got the Ma uh, Mabusi Mabusi vibes, honestly. Yeah, she knows why. Maybe I can actually... I don't want to talk about it, yes. Because I don't want to look like as if I judge people. But uh, I don't know, so guys. Sometimes I ask myself, why is it that people are putting themselves under so much prayer, pressure? That is, if, at all, if at all, all these allegations are true, why, do, why does one have to put themselves under so much pressure? If you don't have, you don't have... Like, if you don't have money, if you you cannot afford it, just let it slide, guys. Live a simple life, you know, until you can make it. Or maybe they're trying to fake it until they make it. I don't know. But it's so sad, honestly. And then I just thought, let me just check what the comment section are saying. Because sometimes you get the truth from one of the people there. And then there's this lady called Yellow Flower. She said, this is true. That's what I've always known uh, about Mbali from Sunny Hill. And then Sazana Ngobile said, as is rich, uh, housewives is becoming a show of who's borrowing, borrowing what, who's renting where, who's broke. And then Miss G said, the most useless addition to the show, this woman, was that they had to create a story out of nothing. I'm still mad at the show for that. Yeah, I want, on that one, guys, I want to agree with Miss G. Honestly, I didn't see the reason why Mbali was there. She wasn't, like, there, you know. She wasn't appealing. She wasn't... She was just, like, cold. She wasn't entertaining until that time when she was... She wanted to start war with the Nungu regarding the Mabusi vibes calling. And there's the someone that uh, called Abalawaka said Manzombe will help her pay. Remember, she stole the vault and Defaf won't let her be shamed by the yeah, I think I cut the screenshot. But anyway, guys, uh, what happened today is that Mbali, uh, she's trending. I saw her, this video of her on my Pandaba, where she was like insulting this man. Insulting this man so bad, guys. I really felt so sorry because I don't like people that judge people, especially using their jobs because we are not the same. God didn't create us the same. There are some people that will be highly blessed. There are some people that will be not blessed at all. Like, they're just there. They're just in this world to be spectators and, you know, just watch people move, watch people turn their heads. It's as if you are just there, you know. And there are those people that are okay. But for her to judge this man and call this man that he's just the security guard that earns 4,000 rands, for me, I felt like she went so low. 
like it's totally low and i don't think i'm very interested in her at all as from now onwards even if she can be on the next uh, season i, I won't be, I, i'm not sure what's really happening because i watch my fans on show max i don't know if it's already playing or what's happening but if at all whenever it comes i don't think i'll be very interested in bali especially after today just go ahead guys and check this woman what she did you know she went so low 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 because sometimes when you are there you know we're already giving you flowers us try and you know at least pretend you know at least pretend to be somebody but anyway i'll see you on the next video please let me know what our thoughts are down there in the comment section and remember to give this video a like and a share and consider subscribing as well Manja, this guy with you nigga with 4,000 likes, security, and a whole, and I'm sure make tricks. Just for hell, I put a suffocate. Fuck you. In the Lalemin, the Lalemin. Like, guys, if you can actually uh, investigate this whole thing, you'll realize that the security man was just doing his job. And because he's just the security who earns 4,000 rands, according to Mbali, he's, he's like a nobody. He doesn't deserve to be to, to actually lay down the rules of where he works, how things need to be done. I don't know what is it with people. Like, they go to people's workplaces and they don't respect them. Yet, when people come to their workplaces, they want people to listen to whatever rules that they tell them. So, honestly speaking, like, Mbali totally, like, went off on the swan, guys. She went below the belt. Like, for me, I, I, I'm so sad. Like, my heart aches for this man. And there's so many people that are saying that Mbali is like that. She always acts like as if she's a saint. Yet she is like a real snake with a two head with two heads. So I honestly like honestly and I, I've noticed that Nungu is someone that really talks a lot. And I've observed that most of the time Nungu will be telling the truth. Yeah, when she takes down her uh, two glasses, yeah, Nunku just uh, unfolds. So I want to believe that maybe Nunku was telling the truth about the suman. Yeah, so uh, Kopanom Palele said Mbali has a problem of looking down upon people. She did the same thing on the show when Nunku said she got Mabuse vibes immediately before processing anything. She assumed it means she's inferior. Like, this is so hurting. But anyway, please let me know what our thoughts are. I'll see you on the next video.